Greetings, everyone. Welcome to our news update for Friday, July 2nd. Happy 4th of July weekend, everyone. And this is a reminder about worship this week. This is the first Sunday of the month, and so we will be celebrating communion. And we will be providing communion elements here for you if you'd like to, if you are joining us for worship. However, if you don't feel comfortable um, with those elements that I'm going to provide, feel free to bring your own. Pack a picnic and bring it with you as we gather for worship on Sunday. This week we are going to be featuring uh, a little Sunday school lesson from our, our friends who are our storytellers. This week it's Carly telling us a story of Babel. Hmm. And we'll also be talking about what it means to belong. So do join us for worship on Sunday morning. The live stream begins at 10 o'clock. Worship begins at 10 o'clock. If you want to join us and you haven't signed up, come on down. We have plenty of space available. It is a holiday weekend, so our registrations are a little on the light side. But do come on down. Also, I want to remind you about Vacation Bible School. It is not too late to sign up, but it's almost too late. Uh, Vacation Bible School begins on Tuesday. If your children or your grandchildren want to participate, you have to please sign up by Sunday. You can go on to the church's website, www.firstparishsaco.org, go on to the Worship tab, click on that, then scroll down to the Christian Education tab, click on that, and then go on to the Register for Vacation Bible School, and then click on that. But then sign up your, your children, your grandchildren, and hit submit. Vacation Bible School starts on Tuesday. It is for all children that are grades, ages four years old through fifth grade. It is our discovery on Adventure Island. Will we find all of those lanterns? We will with your help. So do sign up. It's going to be a great week of fun and exploration. And finally, this is just a note that has nothing to do with worship or with church. Because it is 4th of July, I just want a little reminder about keeping your pets safe during fireworks. You know, the 4th of July is a day when more pets run away than any other day of the year. So if you have pets that might be afraid of fireworks, make sure that they're safe. Make sure that, that they're secure. And also be sure to think about your neighbors too. Maybe you have some neighbors that might be sensitive to sound or noise or whatever. So let's keep our pets safe. Let's keep our neighbors safe. But let's have a great weekend this weekend. Be safe, everyone. Be well, everyone. God bless you all.